let's coordinate those breathing exercises with exercise to strengthen the muscles of the chest wall. Also, we're going to incorporate some leg exercises because those are large muscles. You want to keep them well oxygenated and strong. All right, the first thing, we're just going to warm up a little bit. Just do four repetitions of each. The first is just put your arms out, warming up the shoulders and the arms by putting right over left and left over right. That's one. Right over left, left over right, two, three, and three, four, and four. Arms down. Next are shoulder shrugs. I want you to bring those shoulders up to your ears, stretching all the muscles in the sides of your chest, and breathe out and lift that chest up. Great. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more. Come on. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, shoulder rolls. This is important. A lot of you have shoulders that are pronated forward and your back is curving over. I want you to get your chest up, shoulders back. Now, how do we get those shoulders back? Take those hands and put them right back. Put your, open up your hands, thumbs back. We're going to do a shoulder roll, keeping our arms straight and our fingers open and our thumbs back. So shoulders up as you breathe in, breathe out as the shoulders go down. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Last one, breathe in and oh, all the way back and down. Good. The last one is we're going to just take a, a breathing exercise, put your arms out to the side, exhale forward, breathe in, exhale forward, breathe in. Two more, exhale forward, breathe in, exhale forward, breathe in. As we begin the chest and the arms, I want to try to incorporate as many muscles as possible. I want you to think about even contracting those muscles, even using your body strength and weight. First is a chest fly. I want your elbow to be in alignment with your shoulder. If you find that your elbows fall, it's just showing that your, up, your back is weak. So your goal is to keep them strong. You might have to look in a mirror to do these sometimes. Put your fingers into your thumb and you breathe out as you bring those elbows forward and you breathe in. All right, let's go for eight. Here we go. Breathe out. Breathe in. Bring the elbows in alignment with the shoulders and push them back. Number three, in and out. Four and out. You're doing great. Come on, five. We're almost there. And open. Six and back, seven, and back. Last one, breathe out, and back and down. Nice work. Just move your shoulders up and down if they feel stiff, or just rotate them around. The next one is an arm raise. It's a little different. You're going to put your arms out to the side, your palms to the ceiling, and your thumbs all the way to the back. You're going to take your right arm. We're going to do four on the right, and four on the left. You're going to breathe out and breathe, bring your arm up next to your ear and down. Breathe out and lift. That's two. Breathe out, three, and four. Keep that right arm straight as an arrow. Now let's take your left arm. Breathe out and down. Breathe out and down. Breathe out. And last one, up and down, arms down. Very good. Just shake your arms out a little bit if they feel a little stiff. The next is called a pullback. You're going to take your arms in front. You're going to make a fist with your hand. You're going to breathe out and get those elbows back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, opening the chest. Breathe in. Breathe out and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe in, breathe out. Four, breathe in, breathe out. Five, breathe in, breathe out. Six, breathe in, breathe out. Last one, breathe in, 
and breathe out and hold. One, two, three, four, relax. Great. Next is a lat pull down. It's called a lat pull down because in, right below your shoulder blades, you've got a very large muscle in your back that comes all the way around to the side. And when you push your shoulder blades down and tighten that muscle, you get good posture. So my goal is to improve your posture as well. You put your arms over your head and you squeeze your fingers into your thumb. And you breathe out and you push your elbows slightly back. So you feel the tension in your back. That's one. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. You're doing great. Number four, up and down. Up and down. Now remember, to make this a little harder, really contract those muscles as you go down. And last one, up and down down. Very good. Again, move your shoulders around, up and down, just to relax them. The next exercise is called push-pull. It's something you do a great deal of, but you don't realize it. You use a lot of your chest and shoulder muscles. You're going to take your left hand and put it behind your back. You're going to take your right hand forward, and you're going to push forward, and you're going to Pull back. Push and pull. Push and pull. Really move that whole torso. Push it and twist your torso and pull back. It's like closing the door and opening the door. Push, pull. Two more. Push, pull. Push and pull. Great. Now let's do the other side. Take the right hand behind you. Put the left hand up and push, pull back. Push, pull back. Push, pull back. Number four, close and open. Think close the door, open the door. Two more. Push, pull, push, and pull. So you really feel that nice twisting of the torso there as well. The next one is called a core. Um, and the reason for that is well, there's, we feel that sometimes there's an imaginary horseshoe that the left hip is connected to the right shoulder and the right hip to the left shoulder. So we're going to again take that left hand and put it behind your back. 